Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching a video of someone who, if you've been on my channel before, you've seen her. Her name's Colleen Nichols and her Instagram I'm getting this from is called No Shame Sales Game. She was in multi-level marketing. She now called herself a digital authenticity expert. That is very interesting, especially if you've seen several of her videos of mine. She used to have a business called Direct Sales Growth Community, which was focused on multi-level marketing and like helping people grow their multi- she was an MLM coach and once you know MLM crashed and burned, which is it's still happening, she was actually someone who was like MLM is like 15 to 60% down and suffering or whatever. And so now she's focused on not direct sales growth community. It, she changed it. Digital sales growth community is what she calls it. Oh, she also has something now called social media audit, a one-on-one -on -one social media audit for digital entrepreneurs that is $2,123. Nice. All right, so we're gonna watch one of her videos. And before we get started, don't forget, if you wanna support the channel for free, you can simply hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, you can hit the thumbs up button. Now let's get started. This video from Colleen Nichols is called You Shut Up. That's the title. And that's what made me pick it. So I guess we should watch, right? Hello, for those of you who I do not yet know, my name is Colleen Nichols and I am the heartbeat behind No Shame Sales Game, Digital Sales Growth Community, and the author of the best-selling book, Don't Make It Weird. I am cracking up at your feedback about the you shut up series that you guys named. Now, it's been so fun to make. I'll show you a few examples of her you shut up series. Two words, semen facial, let's go. I need my husband to whip me up a batch of his good old juices for the facial that always gets me right. Yep, the nasal. Come to find out y'all, it's good for more than just eating and making babies. My skin loves it. She's not just telling us. She's showing us. And then there's you! You're over here like, I can't show people I have a business. I can't tell people what I sell. Selling is weird. And this woman is taking her husband's deposit and then putting it on her face. And the whole video, this one actually makes me nauseous. Shut up! You shut up. What's crazy about all of this, even crazier, I guess, is that from what I can tell, this woman has not yet bottled any of this up. She's not selling it. So she's not making any money by doing this. And she can still confidently take her husband's seed <laughs> and rub it all over her face for the entire world to see. So I want you to save this video for the next time that you feel stupid or stuck or an overthink and you need something to help get those juices flowing. Okay, this, uh, <laughs> that's one example. We'll go over more, don't worry. The first comment or the comment I see, literally it says, is this account ever going back to teaching or is this attention seeking nonsense here to stay? <laughs> well done, Kelly. I'll show y'all one more so that you really get it. Two words, fart walk, <laughs> let's go. Going for a fart walk after dinner is something that's going to help you age wonderfully. So let me get this straight. This woman can go on a walk every single night with her husband and just <laughs> all the way around town and tell people about it on the internet. And you can't tell people what it is that you do for a living and how you make money because you're afraid that the people might judge you, think you're strange, a little weird. Shut up. <laughs> you shut up. If Flatulent Fanny can walk around and tell us how we're going to age gracefully because we eat fiber and fart when we walk, then certainly, certainly, you can get over yourself. Everyone farts, everyone poops, and everyone sells something at some point. Go do it. Oh well, that last one is definitely not right. Everyone does fart, everyone does poop, but not everyone sells something, Colleen. Those are just two examples of the many that she's posted. I think in my last video over Colleen, which was a few months ago, she had just started doing this, but now it's her thing. She posts several of these a week, so let's continue. I have a couple more that I can put out, 
But I wanted to tell you that like, this is a perfect example of not having a plan and it working out. So I know a lot of people are like, I need to know what I'm going to talk about. I need to follow the trends. This is not a trend. All right. I need to have the audio. I need to do the right pointy at the screen. None of that is the you shut up situation. Okay. I made a reel a couple days ago about urine therapy. Which if- Okay, but here's the deal. What you're doing is you're taking things that are trending in the idea of it being popular or, or many views, right? Like not the act of urine therapy. Well, that one is actually kind of popular for some wackadoodles, but you know what I'm saying? Like the act of breastfeeding your husband is not necessarily popular, but it gets a lot of views because it's so wild right? It's so wild. So you really are on a trend. You are taking these videos that get lots of views that are just wild and unbelievable, more like they're like shock, right? Shock marketing pretty much and posting it and talking about it. So you are like, this isn't just you being all witty and smart. You're not the only one doing this, Colleen. If you haven't watched it, go do it. And now we've done a couple videos about things and, and everyone, I just naturally say, you shut up. And then all of you guys were like, oh my God, this has to be called You Shut Up. And now I also think the title of my next book will be You Shut Up, but neither here nor there. This is just a perfect example of just talking about things that interest you and doing your business and your social media your way. What works for me is not gonna work for you. What works for you is not gonna work for me, but that's what I am constantly teaching you. And that is why I am teaching people how to be a human on the internet. Teaching people how to be a human on the internet. Why is she the one who gets to guide people to being human on the internet? It's just, it's wild for someone to take this thought of, let me teach you to be human on the internet, and then putting that responsibility on themselves. It's intriguing that she thinks she has the ability to do that. Especially when someone like her is so like brass and unwelcoming and if you go against her thoughts, you are completely wrong. I have several videos on Colleen and throughout that you're going to see this idea where even when she's in the wrong and even when people go against her, she doubles and triples down and acts like that person is just ignorant. And it's painful to watch, but it's fascinating that she thinks it is her responsibility to teach you to be human on the internet. That's it. Because it's not, how can I be the trending audio that someone else used? How can I try to do the thing that she did? The whole point is to do the opposite of what everyone else is doing. And you're the only one that's you. So why not just show up as that on the internet? Because when you show up as that, and it, there's, no, there's no coincidence that my sales have been higher over the past couple days because new people have been coming in, new people have been finding me, people who have been watching for a long time were finally like, oh my God, yes, because I'm just doing what I do. And that's what you need to do. So stop thinking so much for the love of whoever you believe in. Just chill out. And if you're not funny, you're not funny. Maybe- First off, she said, stop thinking so much. I mean, I get her point, like stop overthinking, but let's let's keep the thought processes going, right? Like let's keep logic flowing. That rhymed. And then the last thing (laughs) that I paused right before she said it, let's listen to this one more time. And if you're not funny, you're not funny. (laughs) And if you're not funny, you're not funny. Being funny is subjective. I don't think Colleen is very funny. I think she's, but some of you I'm sure think that she's funny because of, some of the things she says and does. I just think she's rude and I'm gonna keep the rest of myself. So being funny is subjective and it's odd for her to throw it out there like that, but whatever. You're really smart. Maybe you are can analyze things in a way that other people can't. Maybe you, uh, you know, know a lot of things. Maybe you pay attention in ways that others don't. Maybe you can explain things in ways that help people understand. It doesn't have to be funny. Not that I think for someone who charges $2,100 for an audit of their social media, I don't want this to sound rude, but like this training is not telling me that that is worth it. What you're trying to do here is just not showing me that I should pay $2,100 for your help. Not that I think I'm funny, but like, you do think you're funny, Colleen. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's trying to be like, oh, I'm not vain. I'm humble. No, you're not, Colleen. <laughs> we've watched, we've watched Colleen for 
a few years. Humble is not her middle name. You know what I mean? So it's not you have to be funny or whatever. Just do you and people will follow. Yes, for the love of just jewelry. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe you sell vagina scented candles. Who knows? I don't care. I don't care. But you can do it. And I just hope that this, and I always say like, edutainment is my specialty. I'm trying to educate you while also not being boring and trying to be somewhat entertaining um, because that's how people pay attention. And it's insane how many DMs I've gotten over the past couple of days with people saying like, um, I know this sounds crazy, but you talking about the jizz jewelry, or you talking about the urine therapy, or you talking about pony play, like that's actually gotten, that snapped me out of the overthink. That snapped me out of the, the weird headspace that I was in. All right, so like the internet feels boring. Be not boring in your special way. Uh, Jill, you are hilarious. My husband is a comic and nowhere near as real life funny as you are. That's so funny and such a compliment because I'm gonna have to disagree with her. Six and a half hours later. Okay, everybody, my entire computer and light shut off. So if it looks a little different, it's because that happened. So we're gonna roll, we're gonna go with the flow. If you watched my most recent Colleen video, I show those videos, uh, the pony play, the urine therapy. Like I show those videos because that was her, like that was her start of doing this You Shut Up series. Honestly, it just shows her desperation to me because that's never something she did before. I think it's so shock marketing, sh you know, whatever, that it got attention and she was like, oh, I'm hooked, I'm doing it. And you know what, you do you, but I can have an opinion on how you're doing you. I remember saying I was doing team trainings a while back and um, my mom and my brother were over and I said, yeah, you know, they." The people on the call, like, they thought I was funny. And they were like, you? People think you're funny? And I'm like, I mean, some people. Some people think I'm funny. And they're like, huh. Oh, I'm the least funny person in my family. So uh, nobody thinks I'm funny. So it's it's funny that you guys do. Um, anyway, I don't really have anything other to say. And I just wanted to talk to you. Um, yes, she does. She talks for another seven minutes. And say hey. And I... I am so loving reading all of your comments and reading your DMs and talking to you. And I'm so glad something surface level silly can actually create some sort of real impact. I have a few more up my sleeve. Um, and uh, that's, that's where we're at. Let's see what you guys are saying. I think you're funny. And I for sure don't think I am. Yeah, I, I get it. Uh, been feeling like IG isn't fun anymore. Yes, I was saying this in DSGC the other day. Digital sales growth community. That's my, that's how you work with me. I don't have 17 different offers. I don't have 17, like there's, that's the one, that's it. That's how you get in my professional orbit. Um, and I coach every week and I bring in different speakers every week. Unless she added those things after she made this video, she has two other options. The consistency calculation, which is the art of social media sales and the strategy behind it all. And then that, that IG audit that we talked about, that's like $2,100. I mean, she has plenty of other sources too. Like you can watch like mini trainings and stuff and her um, workbook for Don't Make It Weird and her book, Don't Make It Weird. So, I mean, she has other things, but she didn't have 17 of them, God forbid, but she has like six month as well to train on variety of different topics um but I was saying this like it's not fun for a lot of people right now and I feel like there it's this like epidemic of unfunness it's just like stale and boring and like everyone's trying to figure it out and like hack the system or I get what she's saying but like I recently got into reading this year and I read like 35 books and it is April 7th, don't talk to me about it, I've got some issues. I have come to love Instagram again because I've been in this like book community where I'm, it's just like really funny and very relatable and a lot of posts of books that I've read that are hilarious and my husband sends me them too and it's just really fun. I've started to really enjoy Instagram again just simply because I'm in a part of Instagram that I find relatable and hilarious and I have a good time being a part of. So I think it's just maybe you need to swap up something. Maybe some people don't like Instagram, plenty of people don't. I didn't really either, I wasn't a big Instagram girly either, but. I I've started to watch more Instagram, so reels and all of that just 
because I've found a part of Instagram that I do like. Or like, know which thing to hop on at the right time. And I'm telling you that the algorithm is always gonna be changing. The platforms are always gonna be changing. But if you are a human that people like and connect with, it does not fucking matter. Does not matter what the trend is, does not matter what the platform is, does not matter because if they like you in whatever capacity, you that that negates, cancels out all the other things that you have to worry about. If you're not likable, if you're not interesting, then maybe that's when you have to be like, oh, I, I have to make this calculated. Because social media is being, is literally just being social through a screen. That's not necessarily true though. You can be very likable and Instagram just not post your stuff because of the algorithm. That's like a weird take in my opinion. I find that odd because of anyone she's someone who prides herself on knowing like how to work through Instagram and even has an Instagram audit to charge you $2,100 pretty much going through your posts and everything and it seems like to help you gain more traction on your Instagram so I think that's weird also you could be the most likable person on earth and still not have a huge social media following. There's plenty of YouTube channels that I watch that aren't huge channels that are some of my absolute favorites. They're just not thrown into the YouTube algorithm like a bunch of larger channels are. It is what it is, but the algorithm is important. If you have to calculate all of your social interactions, that's like a sociopath. So maybe just chill a little bit. How about you chill? It's interesting because we're just talking about social media. People calculate how to work their social media all the time. It's, it's people, people are social media managers. They, their job is to get people's social media, they look through it and they see best ways to make them gain more followers, get more views, just, you know, especially if they have small businesses. A lot of people grow their business through social media. So it's not weird to calculate your posts and like plan them and do all this stuff. So for her to act like you're a sociopath, as she said, for those that have to do that is weird, but she didn't just say that. She's saying if you have to do, if you have to calculate all of your social interactions, we're not talking about all of our social interactions, Colleen. She's just kind of intertwining those two ideas of like, you're a sociopath because you have to calculate all of your interactions and you're a sociopath if you have to calculate all of your social media interactions. She's just seeming to kind of mix those. It's just that manipulative aspect of Colleen and people who have been a part of multi-level marketing and are multi-level marketing coaches. Do you have any idea what an actual sociopath is and how that works? That's such an odd, odd thing for her to say. There are at least things that I agree with on other videos, but this one in particular is really honing in on she is a manipulative person who is all in for herself, but tries to act like she's all in for others. Like she's doing this for you, but she's really not. Like everyone is just trying too hard and I'll probably get shit for saying that because that's like goes against what so many people say like, oh, no, you need to know how to do this. You need how to do this certain thing. You need the trend. Like this is this text that you need. This is fuck off. Like not not fuck off, but like that helps. But also try being a likable human. Who says you can't do both? F off? Really, Colleen? She's like, not F off. No, but that's that's what exact that's exactly what you meant. She's trying to set herself apart from these other people in social media to try to make herself look like a lone wolf and like this person who doesn't follow, you know, the social media way and all of that and makes herself look like she's successful just because of herself. But she does what all those other people that are, you know, trying to grow their social media do. Right now she's giving me the biggest ick because she does what all those others do. And part of her brand, part of her growth is acting like she's not one of those people. For like 0.5 and see how that works. Just imagine how that would feel to not have to worry about all the steps. I don't know, not a sermon, just a thought. Um, yeah, I'm saying be your own trendsetter. Uh, okay. Laughter is such medicine. It is. Like, anyway, I don't know. That's all. That's all I got. Thanks for being here. If you're, if you've been here for a while, thanks for staying. That is not all she's got. There's four more minutes. Staying. If you're new, welcome. If you're not in digital sales growth community and you want to learn how to be a better, more likable, magnetic human on the internet, DSGC is where you need to go. You have to be those things to teach those things, Colleen. You know that, right?
don't make it weird the entrepreneur's guide to being human on the internet is a that's really funny because she makes every fucking thing weird she does make things weird so it's interesting but that's what her book is called available for pre-order on amazon like that's all that's all i got two things two things <laughs> yes this will be available after the video ends robin just needs a poof knife well you can get those on amazon too oh Roz, thanks getting dsgc oh brit i'm excited that the book comes tomorrow yeah we're fun in in, in dsgc and I was saying this in an email yesterday, which is probably, I could probably just make, uh, see, I don't have a plan ever. Like a lot of people like course hop or whatever, and they buy one thing and they buy another thing and they buy another thing and they buy another thing. It's like the Ikea of courses. You're like, oh, that's only $47. Oh, that's only $100. Oh, that's only $7. And then before you know it, you've spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on things here and there, or a large chunk of change on one thing when I don't have time for that. So like, I created DSGC. It's $365 for a 12 month membership. I bring in experts to train on all the things because I'm not an expert on all the things. I'm an expert in some things and I train on that often, but I bring in people to talk about emails, to talk about different strategies, to talk about- One thing I've always wondered is what makes someone an expert? For example, becoming, you know, having a master's degree in something, I don't know if that makes you an expert, but it does make you very knowledgeable. Wikipedia says an expert more generally is a person with extensive knowledge or ability based on research, experience, or occupation is in the particular study of area. Experts are called in for advice on their respective subject, but they do not always agree on particulars of a field. Real expertise produces concrete results. So I guess it's kind of subjective. One of the things that it says is people who become experts tend to acquire a body of knowledge that makes them one of the most informed individuals in their field. They also possess the skills that they need to determine when and how to use their knowledge. I personally think it's interesting that people call themselves experts at things. I wouldn't call myself an expert at anything really, not even ultrasound. And I've also only been doing ultrasound for a couple of years, so it's definitely not. I've been thinking about that. I just haven't voiced, voiced it lately on, you know, these different people, especially in MLMs and MLM coaches in particular that call themselves experts at the field. Well, I do think there definitely are some who have proven that their expertise in MLM, which is an expert scammer, in my opinion. She has over, well over 100,000 followers, but that doesn't make her an expert. I would love to know y'all's thoughts on expertise and expert, especially when it comes to social media. How, how to run your books, like how all of the things and I'm really proud of it it's awesome uh okay yes it's only on Amazon Robin yeah you do need DSGC get in there um all right it's not it's not that big of a deal if I join now can I still get the email training yes so all of our trainings in DSGC are recorded and available for replay in our replay library so not only will you have access to like the training that happened last week but you also have trainings that happened two years ago uh and so it's when you come in you automatically have access to everything the resource library the replay library the daily social media prompts all of that and it's all there there's not like different paywalls to get access to different things it's all there to make it not complicated and just like a good resource for you uh is the training on each only monday mornings i do something called office hour every monday morning that's where i get on and do like the group coaching um and people submit questions. Sorry, I got distracted. People submit questions. I answer them. I do that every Monday. I also will have like a, a more substantial training every month. And then I bring in experts every month to train on the focus of the month. So this month, like we said, was emails. February is going to be um, language and messaging in your marketing. March is going to be optimizing content that converts. April is going to be running your books. So like P&L, legal, um, setting up an LLC, all of those things. Um, and that's what I have for sure set in stone right now. And then probably next month I'll start planning out May, June, July. Anyway. Uh, okay. Is the training... Oh. Hold on. Not me missing the live trying to figure out if I pre-ordered on Audible. Yeah, it's on Audible too. It's pretty neat. People tend to like it on Audible. 
I've never listened to an audiobook and it's insane. People are like, oh my god, it's so funny. I like listening to you. I'm like, that's weird. <sighs> okay, for real. I don't think she thinks that's weird. All right, I'm done. There's only a few seconds left. We checked in with her and she's same old, same old. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? My thought is she has worked very hard at trying to stray away from MLM and has taken this shock marketing thing very seriously. She's also trying to get into this, I'm an expert at this, this, and this. I don't think she's an expert at much, really, maybe anything at all. But that's also something I'm gonna think about and ponder. What are your thoughts? Don't forget to leave them below. Thanks for being here. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you next time. about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about yours.